Hello, my dear students. I am going to discuss with you admission of a partner. When the old partner decides to admit a new partner, they lay down some conditions. And when the admission takes place, these conditions are to be complied with. The new partner will have to agree to it, and the admission procedure will start, and the entries will be made accordingly. I am going to take few new conditions today which are generally asked by the examiners in board questions. These conditions are that when the admission of the new partner takes place, he has to bring capital and he also brings some money for goodwill. Now today I am going to take a case where he brings in his capital but he does not bring anything for goodwill. So therefore first condition is goodwill not brought in. A partner, new partner does not bring anything for goodwill. How it is to be treated, this will be discussed today. Second is, there is old goodwill account in the balance sheet. In balance sheet. of old partners. Third is the balance sheet consists of an item which is called workers compensation fund or employees compensation fund. The partners, the old partners have created this fund out of their profits to meet any contingency which arises because of any accident that happens to the workers when they are working in the factory. So this compensation fund will appear in the old balance sheet on the liability side. How it is to be treated, this too will be discussed today. Employees or workers Workers Compensation Fund Workers Compensation Fund <clears throat> and uh, fourth one is there is another fund in the balance sheet of the old partners which sometimes is very confusing and you have to learn how to treat that fund that is employees provident fund employees provident fund this is also a fund and this is also a fund but their treatments are different and lastly one more point i'll cover today that is the treatment of Unrecorded assets. Unrecorded asset. These four things I'm going to take up with you so that you are able to learn how to treat them when you are doing a full fledged question on admission of a partner where you will be required to prepare a revaluation account a cash account, capital accounts of all the partners and also the balance sheet. 
in such questions which are set in the board, the examiner generally sets one or one item which is little ticklish. All other items are very simple, but he definitely gives one item where the students will have to exercise little caution. And these are those items which we will cover today. Now just say goodwill not brought in cash. If goodwill is not brought in cash because according to accounting standard 10, goodwill has to be paid or received in money or money's worth. That you know. Therefore, if he doesn't bring, he cannot be remitted. But there is a way out. What is the way out? That this amount can be deducted out of the capital. If he brings the sum money for capital, his capital account will be debited and the credit will go to the old partners in sacrificing ratio. This approach will be followed today. And therefore, this is one number point one. Then number two is there is old goodwill in the balance sheet of the old partners. This uh, goodwill has to be written off. I told you earlier also that if there is any goodwill in the balance sheet of old partners, get rid of it and write it off among the old partners in their old ratio and then your problem becomes very simple. The same approach will be followed here that this goodwill will be written off. Third point is workers compensation fund. This fund has been created by the old partners to meet any contingency that arises if any worker is hurt while working in the factory and a compensation is to pay to that worker. So uh, this fund 